Story a Day for Beginners. Published by BC Canada Education Publishing. Book 2 for February. Story 1. Animals in the Park. When Grandpa comes to visit, we like to go for a walk. First, we go to the store. Grandpa buys some seeds and nuts. Then we go to the park. Grandpa shows me how to feed the birds and squirrels. We give them seeds and nuts to eat. Soon, all the small animals come to me. I enjoy feeding them. I think they like seeds and nuts. And they like us, too. Hello, little friends. Story 2. My Little Red Wagon I have a little red wagon. It has four wheels. It has a long handle. I take my red wagon everywhere. Sometimes I take my little sister for a ride. She likes to go fast. Go fast, go, she says. I pull and run. My sister laughs. We have a lot of fun with my little red wagon. Here we go. Faster. Story three. It's my birthday. Today, I am six years old. I love having my birthday. There is a party. All my friends comes come. There is a cake. On top of the cake, there are six candles. Mom lights the candles. I close my eyes. I make a wish. Then I blow out all of the candles. I hope my wish comes true. What do I wish for? I wish to have friends from all over the world. I wish to have more friends. Story 4 Yellow My favorite color is yellow. So many good things are yellow. Corn and butter are yellow. Ban bananas and lemonade are yellow. My favorite shirt is yellow. And my bedroom is yellow. But best of all, my hair is yellow. My mom says that my hair shines like gold in the morning light. You are rich, says my mom. I love the color yellow. Story 5. What color are your eyes? Brown, blue, green. What color are your eyes? Brown? More than half the people in the world have brown eyes. People in Africa and Asia mostly have brown eyes. Some people have green eyes. Some have blue eyes. Why are your eyes the color they are? You got that from your mom and your dad. My eyes are brown. Story 6. Travel by Train Mr. Judge loves trains. If possible, he likes to go everywhere by train. He doesn't like to travel by airplane. His dream is to travel from Europe to China by train. Do you know the name of the train? It's the Orient Express. It goes from Europe through Russia, then to China. What a great train trip that would be.
Here I come. Story 7. Numbers for you. Have you ever noticed how some numbers also sound like words? It's an idea I came up with in math class. I passed a note to my friend. Want to come to the mall this weekend? Let's just go for fun. She wrote back, Sure, we can walk there if it's not raining. I like the food there. One time, I ate a whole pizza. She caught on quickly. Just for fun. Story 8 Fun at School Corey goes to school three days a week. He learns about letters and numbers. He plays with his friends. They play inside when it rains and outside when it is sunny. It is fun. Next year, he will be five years old. He will go to school five days a week. He can't wait. This piece goes here. Story 9. Setting the Table Mike was hungry. Mom, when will dinner be ready? He asked. Soon, she said, as she cooked the soup. Can I help you? He asked. Sure, you can set the table, she said. Mike put cups, bowls, and spoons on the table. Good job, Mike, said his mom. Now that the table is set, we can eat even sooner. Mom, the table is all set. Story 10. Helping at Home Lisa likes to help out at home. When she gets home from school, she often babysits her little brother. She plays with him and reads books to him, too. Her mom says, you are such a great help. One day, you will have your own home. Helping around the house is good for you, too. Lisa is happy to help. It makes her feel good. Can I play with your dinosaur? Story 11. Go on a ship? I love going to the beach. I love watching the ships go by. My grandfather was a sailor. He would tell me stories about waves that were taller than a house. One day, he asked me, Would you like to go on a ship? I said, uh, Not now. I think I'll stay on the beach and build a sand castle bigger than a house. I'll stay on the beach for now. Story 12 Funny Weather Last week, the weather was funny. It was different every day. Monday was rainy. Tuesday was sunny. Wednesday was hot. Thursday was cold. Friday was cloudy. Saturday was windy. And Sunday was rainy again. But on Sunday, I saw a rainbow. It was colorful and it was big. It looked like it touched the ground on both ends. I can make it really hot. Story 13 Jack's Barber Shop Jack is a barber. He cuts hair in his barber shop. Jack likes his job. He enjoys talking to his customers when he cuts their hair. 
but his customers do not talk to Jack. Sometimes they say, oof. Whose hair does Jack cut? Dogs. Jack's customers are dogs. Jack is a dog barber. Nice haircut. Story 14 Rubber Boots I love my rubber boots. They keep my feet warm and dry when I go outside and play in the rain. When I get home, I take off my rubber boots before I come into the house. My mom loves my rubber boots too. Why? She does not have to worry about my wet feet on the nice, clean floors. I take them off at the door. Story 15 Spiderwebs There are many kinds of spiders, but they all have one thing in common. They all make silk. Spiders' silk is very strong. Some spiders use it to build spider webs and to help them climb. What do they use these webs for? To catch other insects. Spiders catch insects in their silky webs. That's the way they get their food. I'm going down to my home. Story 16 Swimming with the Ducks Emily was afraid to swim in the lake. Come in the water, said her mom. It's nice and cool, said her dad. Look over there, said her brother. There's a family of ducks. The mother duck and her four babies were swimming together in the water. They were beautiful. Then Emily jumped into the water. You're swimming, said her family. Here I come. Story 17 Who is your hero? 1. My teacher asked us to write about a hero. She said, Your hero has to be someone that you know. At home, my father said, You can write about me. I have done many good things. My mother smiled and said, Usually, a hero doesn't say he is a hero. Who could I write about? You can ask your uncle. Story 18 Who is your hero? 2 I called my uncle. He said, You should write about your grandpa. Why is grandpa a hero? I asked. He raised eight children when there was little food at that time, said my uncle. He was a very skilled man and he used his skills to help others. In return, people gave him food to feed the children. Wow! I found a hero in my family! You can write about your grandpa. Story 19 The Turtle Race Sea turtles lay their eggs on land. Then they leave them alone to grow. When the baby sea turtles hatch, they make their way to the water. It's a long and dangerous path for them, so they have to move quickly. It's like a race. Which one will reach the water first? Many people come to see the tiny turtles race to the water. 
Go, turtle, go! Go, go turtle, turtle, go! Story 20 Hats My sister has many hats. She wears different hats when she is doing different things. When she plays sports, she wears a, wears a baseball hat. When she works in the garden, she wears a straw hat. When she goes to the beach, she wears a bucket hat. When she rides her bike, she wears a helmet. It's her birthday tomorrow. Can you guess what kind of hat she will wear? A party hat! Look at my bucket hat! Story 21 Love to Dance Jenny loves to dance. She feels happy when she dances. She puts on her pretty pink pants and her nice black shoes. She turns on the music and dances around the room. Jenny is a very good dancer. She says, you don't have to be a great dancer. Just dance. It's good for you. Dancing makes me happy. Story 22. Numbers. Numbers are handy. I use them to count. I have one nose. I have two eyes. I have three sisters. I have four aunts, aunts and four uncles. I have five friends. I have six hats. I have seven books. I have eight crayons. I have nine pencils. And I have ten fingers and ten toes. See? Numbers, see? Numbers are handy. What can you count? I Story 23 A Busy Doctor Dr. Ling works in a big hospital. He is very busy every day. He is the best doctor in the city. All patients want to see him. How many patients does he see? He sees 100 patients or more each day. He works very late on most days. Sometimes he doesn't even have time for lunch. Dr. Ling loves helping people. Say ah. Is he all right? Story 24. Name a baby. Emma is happy today. Her mom and dad are bringing home a new baby. Emma is going to have a brother. Mom and dad tell her to think of a name for her new brother. What will his name be? She likes the name Ben. It's a good name, she thinks. When I show my brother to my friends, I will say, This is my brother, Ben. Ben is a good name. Thank you, Emma. Story 25 Snowman Want to make a snowman? Here is what you do. Start with a small ball of snow and roll it around in the snow to make it bigger. Then make another smaller ball and put it on top of the first snowball. Next, make an even smaller ball for the head and put it on top of the second ball. 
Then give your snowman a nose, two eyes, and a mouth. That's it. Let's call him Frosty. Story 26 Springtime. It's a beautiful spring day. Matt and his sister go for a walk. Suddenly, they see a big black bear. Matt and his sister run as fast as they can. When they stop, they look back, and the bear is gone. Whew! They are safe. Bears sleep all winter. When they wake up in the spring, they are hungry. That's why Matt and his sister ran away fast. They didn't want to become bear food. Run! Run as fast as you can! Story 27 Baby Birds Dave's dad shows Dave a little bird's nest in a tree. See the pretty blue eggs? asks his dad. A mother bird laid those eggs. She will sit on them and keep them warm. Soon, the eggs will break. What will come out? asks the father. Baby birds, Dave says. Yes, but don't touch the nest or the mother bird won't come back to her eggs. Eggs. Story 28 Animal Coats Some animals wear coats. Their coats are made of hair. Can animals take off their coats? No. But here is something interesting to know about animal coats. In places where it gets really cold, some animals grow really long coats of hair. When it is warm again in spring, the long coats fall off. It's a cold day, eh? <laughs>